So you wanna learn and practice those uppercase letters, but did you know that before you begin, the best thing you can do for yourself is really conquer those basic strokes? Hey there, I'm Sharice from Pieces Calligraphy and I'm joined today by my assistant, Baby Pieces, say hi. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Uppercase Bootcamp, which is a seven day challenge that is mainly hosted on Instagram, but I'm bringing it over here onto YouTube because I just feel like it's a lot nicer to have more options on how to catch up with everything with to do with the challenge. So I'm first going to talk about what the challenge is, what you can expect, how you can participate, all the details that you'll want to know. But if you just want to skip over to read all about that, you can just click the link down below that goes to my website. It's piecescalligraphy.com slash uppercase. And there I share all of the details, answer your questions, you can find some resources. And most importantly, that's where the schedule is and the guide sheets, because those are the two things, other than your pen, of course, that you'll really want before you get started. So what is the Uppercase Bootcamp? The Uppercase Bootcamp is a seven day challenge that is mainly being hosted on Instagram, but I'm bringing it over here on YouTube. So every day in this challenge, you will be given a specific practice drill, and that practice drill will be focusing on either a couple or one specific basic stroke. But notice how I'm talking about basic strokes, not actual letters. We will talk about letters soon after this. But just like with everything that I talk about, learning the basics, building that foundation, that is what will get you further and, and just more successful and confident when you do tackle those letters. So I know you're anxious. I know you are just tempted to start writing all the letters, but trust me when I say that conquering those basic strokes will be the best way that you can set yourself up for success. So when does the boot camp happen? So the live challenge will start on July 1st and it will go every single day until July 7th. So if you're a little late to the game, if you completely missed it, don't worry. The replays will all be will all still be up. My website will still contain all that information. So you won't have to worry. You can just simply just catch up on your own or just do the challenge on your own. So what is the goal of the challenge? So my personal take on challenges is they are a fun, short way to really light that fire up your butt. Sometimes we just tend to let life pass us by, we don't have much time to practice, we're too tired, but there's something about a challenge that has a definite start and end date and it's not too long that gets us really moving. And seven is a really good number to kind of feel like you can get through it. It's not 30 days, it's not 100 days, but it's also not too short. So seven days is really good. And if you aren't able to do every single day, I don't want you to get discouraged. I want you to know that you can simply just pick up from where you left off. I feel like calligraphy in general is just a journey. Like you don't have to worry about, I know I said that there was a deadline, but as a whole, that's really not what it's about, is it? It's really about just continual practice, identifying where you are in your journey and what you can do to improve and just really knowing that there's a community behind you. And so we're all in this together, no matter if you're a beginner and if you are just completely, um, you know, you've been experienced, which brings me to my next point on who can participate. So anyone can participate, whether this is your first time picking up a pen, whether you have had years of experience, there's always something to learn. What I challenged you though, is just to kind of identify where you are in your journey and then use this challenge to build your skills from there. So don't shoot for the stars if you're just beginning, just try to show up every day. Just try to complete the drills and fill your page. And then if you're a little bit more experienced, then you can kind of focus, okay, how can I fine tune my strokes? What are little tidbits I can, I can pick up from other people that maybe you've never considered before? So th things to think about your own goals along the way. Now let's talk about how you can participate. So first you're going to want to gather all your materials. That is your guide sheets and your pen, whatever you choose to write with. Now the guide sheets are available on my website. I basically just link to the guide sheets that Nina created and I'm gonna go also add a little bit more to that as we go along, but for starters you'll want to download it's up to you. You can get the long version or the short version, or you can get both and kind of see where you want to go with that. Um, but you just really need one of the two. Then you're going to want to get your pen. Now, if you're following me, you're going to be seeing all of the brush pens that I use. And for this challenge, I'm going to be using small brush pens. The brush pens that I'm choosing to use, I'm going to kind of switch between the Pantel sign pen, and this is with the brush tip, not the fine point, and the Tombow Fudano Suke pens. I personally prefer the soft tip or the twin tip just because I think there's more 
um, flexibility and it's just a little bit more forgiving. The hard tip tends to be a little bit too firm. And while I love that hairline on the hard tip, I just think it doesn't allow you to do the transitions as smoothly. Next, you're gonna write down your goals. So on those guide sheets, you, there's a little place for you to write what your goals are for this challenge. One of my favorite quotes lately has been, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. And it's a little harsh to hear that, but it's really true. Sometimes we just think about our goals and we just dream on, but really write them down so that way you have something to compare to at the end of the challenge and you can see how close you came. Um, and it's also your North Star. It keeps you focused on what your goal is with this challenge and it keeps you focused. Then you're ready to watch the videos and those videos will roll out here on YouTube from me or on Instagram from either myself or Nina. And all of our links will be down below. So what you're going to do is on each of those days of the challenge, watch the corresponding day for that practice drill and you can see us explain the drill, demo it, and also address some of the issues that you might encounter. Then you're going to want to share your work. And this is one of the, my favorite parts because I love seeing the work that you've created. I don't know if you know this, but the calligraphy community online is so strong. Like it's amazing how supportive, friendly, and just helpful everyone is. I really found some of my like closest friends on Instagram. And if you do post, I'd love if you tag me. I love seeing your work. You can tag me at Pieces Calligraphy, or you can add the hashtag Copperplate Bootcamp or hashtag Pieces Calligraphy underscore Bootcamp. And last but not least, enjoy the process. Seriously, don't take this as anything frustrating, as too much pressure. I really think we do our best work when we just free ourselves from the expectations and anything that's just keeping us from letting ourselves go and, and enjoying the creative juices that we all have within us. If you do get frustrated, that's okay. You can share those frustrations with me. I would encourage you to include those frustrations in your captions or leave me comments and tag me just so I can kind of get a sense for where you are and maybe I can try to address them in follow-up videos. And that's the uppercase boot camp that is beginning on July 1st. 2018 i would like to just put it out there into the universe that this is the first of many times we will run this challenge so this is the first live challenge for myself and i'm so excited to host it with my friend nina make sure to go say hi to her on instagram let her know that you're joining in and we would love for you to just enjoy the process learn for as much as you can share the word i'd also love if you'd share this video with a friend tag someone on instagram tag your calligraphy bestie just drag them into it you will never know until you try as a ps i don't know if you've heard of the hand lettered abcs but that is me and nina's i know it's kind of weird to say but it's like our baby so we started that a couple years ago and now we've handed it off to some really good friends of ours but that is the Instagram account that we are going to be following along with in August. So just to put that out there in case you are still on the edge of your seat, like when are we gonna do the actual letters? So stay patient, trust that we will eventually get there. So this boot camp is designed to really, it's like a boot camp, right? You're, you're stretching it out, you're pushing your muscles, you're building strength. And so then when we tackle those letters in August, A through Z, you will be super equipped and pumped and ready to tackle them with me. So thank you so much for watching. I'd love if you'd hit subscribe to this channel so that you can be updated. I'm going to be posting every single day, sharing those videos for the uppercase bootcam. And when the bootcamp's over, you can always come back to watch the videos for replays. And if you're still subscribed to my channel, I share just videos all about brush calligraphy from tutorials to pen reviews, a little bit behind the scenes. And I'd love if you join me for the journey. All right, I'll catch you later and get ready for the bootcamp. Bye. Did you take all my puns? Are those your favorite? Don't eat. Can you say bye? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> now. Oh my goodness. E. E.